Welcome back to you 1,242 beautiful Beach Nation subscribers. Thanks for tuning in to another BeachRC.com product review. As you can see, we got the King Sling back. This is gonna be part two. If you watched the previous video, you saw that we did beat on it pretty hard. We ended up breaking quite a few parts on it, but I did learn a few lessons. I did have some comments on that particular video from people who are a little more experienced on the monster truck side of RC. Uh, they kind of opened my eyes a little bit, seeing this is supposed to be more of a scale vehicle, a 1-1 scale vehicle. It's supposed to look as close to the real thing as possible. Um, it's not necessarily going to be a basher type of RC um, that you just go and do whatever the heck you want with. You got to treat it a little more like what it was meant to be. It makes a lot of sense to me. I've never actually had an RC monster truck before, uh, not a hobby grade one anyways. Usually when someone gives me a vehicle to go play with or go review, I would do exactly what a 12 year old would do. If he came into my shop with his mom for the first time, says, mom, I want a big and bad monster truck. This looks real cool, mom. That 12 year old probably is not gonna know to treat this like a one one scale monster truck. This is my experience with monster trucks. Let me fill you in just a little bit. When the first Bigfoot was released, I was about eight years old and I was at the Pontiac Silverdome in Detroit, Michigan. And it was really just a truck with big tires on it and a giant lift kit. When that truck put its front wheels on some junkyard car, that whole stadium of 80,000 people's minds were blown. We've never seen anything like it. A, a real life truck could actually climb over a car. The 40 years of evolution, this is what I understand about monster trucks. They're the biggest, baddest, gnarliest trucks on the planet. I've seen a monster truck launch from one corner of a stadium. Had to be at least 50 foot in the air and probably launched about 150 foot only to land flat. I've seen these things do backflips. So that I approached this RC in the same way, I really don't hold myself at much fault. A monster truck is the baddest thing there is when it comes to trucks. So that kind of explains my philosophy, where I was coming from when I first made the original King Sling video. I need to make a video that you guys are willing to watch, you, you enjoy it, you like it. Hopefully I got a story I can make you laugh. So I'm always looking for footage first and we never really start beating on any of the vehicles until I got all the, the good footage. So I did treat this truck like a basher. For this video, I'm gonna treat it like what this thing is supposed to be. Essentially, this is a monster truck with mud wheels, mud tires. They almost look like tractor tires. It, it, they just look like big old skinny mud tires. I'm gonna try to take some mud. I'm gonna get this thing as muddy as I can. I'm gonna find as many mud puddles as I can. I'm gonna do as many things as I can to this thing. We're gonna go have some fun in the mud today. It rained the past couple days. It shouldn't be very hard to find some mud puddles. Nice and softly. Here it goes. All right, we're gonna put this thing in some mud. This is what everybody wanted. This is what we're gonna do. Paco, hey. It's round two with this uh, King Sling. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. ready to just get this thing muddy and not yes. break it this time? Not break it. Right. This time I'm, I'm not going to beat it, just mud it. Okay. Yes, All sir. Right. All right, first mud run. We're about to send this thing and see how much it can take. We got the King Sling. We're ready for round number two. Yes, we sir. found a whole bunch of mud and when we're done, we're gonna find a little more mud. This is our playground. wanted mud you got mud <laughs> Paco what do you think mud truck we're doing it the way it's supposed to be done yeah is it a yeah. lot more fun and enjoyable absolutely uh, right now I'm I'm having a lot of fun cool. yeah I think it's a challenge yeah that thing's got to be longer than a football field 
Let's go! All right, so we got that thing wet. We put in a lot of mud. We did uh, break something, but it wasn't actually the vehicle. We broke the new servo we put in there. I mean, we basically sent this thing through all the water we possibly could. We submerged it, we put it in mud. Paco, tell us what you think about this I, truck, your second run. Yeah, I changed my mind about this. Okay. Uh, I had a lot of fun with the mud. It was way easy to drive. With this big power and the paddle tires, there is uh, no place where this thing can actually go past and blast the thing. I really like it. Doing what we're supposed to do with it. You say it's a, su a success. Yes, sir, it is. Okay, perfect. So I think both me and Paco were a little bit wrong about this vehicle. We just approached it possibly in the wrong way. Thanks to our beautiful subscribers and uh, people who comment on our video, you opened up my eyes at least a little bit to how you're supposed to approach certain type of RC vehicles. If I'm all muddy, I apologize, but hey, we've been playing in mud all day. All right, so there you have it. This was round two with the Losi Mega Truck, the King Sling. And I have to be completely honest, we got two totally different results from video one to video two. We did put it through different scenarios. I got a little bit frustrated when I was doing video one with this thing because I just felt like it was breaking just a little too easy. After putting it through different scenarios and doing what this thing was designed to do, which is just find the biggest, baddest, gnarliest mud puddles, wet rivers, anything you can submerge this thing into, it held up fantastic today. Was I wrong about this thing? I was absolutely wrong. This thing is 100% a big, bad bulldog. Nothing happened to it. We didn't break it. We did break the servo. Kind of a cheap servo. It's $40 Eco Power servo. Put the best servos you can in there. I always recommend the Nitro Pro servos because they are very strong and they even make a, uh, one that's got like 700 ounces of torque. That's a good servo. I was not having any fun during video one. Paco ran me over, uh, I got road rash all over my body. We were breaking the simplest things on this, having to travel all the way back to the shop, get apart, go travel somewhere else, back and forth, back and forth. I'm trying to make a video here. It did not work out for us. Uh, so eventually I'm just like, hey, let's just, let's just break it. Let's break it. It's easy. I'm gonna jump it into a garbage can three times. This time, we did what we were supposed to do. The our subscribers, the ones who commented on, you really opened my eyes to how to go about playing with this thing, how to test it, the way that people who are into the, the monster truck side of RC would be playing with it. I did learn a lot of lessons with this particular series. Uh, one, videos aren't always gonna go the way I want them to, so I shouldn't get too frustrated. Go at things with an open mind. Be a little more educated on what I'm actually driving. Like I said, we got so many vehicles that come in and out of our hobby shop 
shop and website, I, I don't play with 10% of them, if, if not less. If I do have to demo one for a video, I'm gonna learn a little bit more about it. And if we can bash it, we're gonna bash it. We're, we're gonna bash it real good. So that's about all I got to say, guys, man. If you wanna order this, we got a bunch of these at beachrc.com. You can order them right now. If uh, you have any comments of how I actually treated this vehicle this time, please, I encourage you, leave a comment down below. I love answering guys' comments. I answered just about every single comment if I didn't, I probably just missed it. But I, I love the engagement with you guys. Uh, if you've not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. We're making tons and tons and tons of videos. I'm just going buck wild mode. So stay tuned. We got a lot more in store. I got a bunch of ideas, a bunch of different vehicles coming in. We're always gonna try to push the limits. And uh, yeah, hey, we're gonna see you next time. Love you, bye.